finally, Rockstar has released a new newswire. Details on new update to GTA Online and Red Dead Online. Plus, Grand Theft Auto 5 coming to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X on November 11th. For those of you guys that are not familiar with what they're actually talking about, they are referring to GTA 5 Enhanced and Expanded. That will only be on the new gen consoles. They go on to say an assortment of new updates to both GTA Online and a Red Dead Online <laughs> are on their way throughout May and the summer months, bringing some of the most frequently fan requested additions to each game along with a host of new items, quality of life updates, and much more. And they show a couple of examples here. Deadline, Return of the Shotaru, Stunt Racing, a cunning stunts event, and Survival All New Maps. Now of these three, the only one I would be super interested in is the Deadline one, and only if they increase like how many people can actually participate in each match. It also seems like they are trying to help out the car community a little bit with this update as well. In Los Santos, car culture is back on the streets in a big way with new opportunities for fans of performance and customization upgrades to get together with like-minded gearheads to test and show off their rides free from interference from authorities and other troublemakers. The renewed interest is bringing a new underground car meet into the area, along with new additions to the local racing scene and demand for stolen vehicles has never been higher. Expect high stakes and high action as crews hit the streets to get a hold of the latest vehicle on the hot list, challenge each other in a new race type, or take part in a series of multi-part robbery missions where a precisely modified getaway vehicle will be your best weapon all later this summer. To help gear up for GTA Online Summer Update, eight new stunt races are right around the corner, coming to the GTA Online Stunt Series on May 27th. These new tracks will introduce an array of white knuckle thrills for the stunt racers and an assortment of vehicle classes. Shortly thereafter, fans of the futuristic deadline mode will get seven new arenas in which to obliterate opponents with their Shotaru bike's expensive light trail. If eradicating waves of armed resistance is more your appetite, survival mode will also expand to new locations throughout Los Santos and Blaine County. They talk a little bit about Red Dead Online, but <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to cover that. And they go on to say the expanded enhanced versions of GTA 5 and GTA Online are arriving on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S with new features and more on November the 11th, 2021. As an added bonus, the summer's update to GTA Online will include special benefits for players to take advantage of in these expanded enhanced versions when they drop. Plus, in honor of the upcoming 20th anniversary of the genre-defining Grand Theft Auto 3, we'll have even more fun surprises to share including some specifically for GTA Online players. And while the standalone version of GTA Online will be available to players on both platforms, this new standalone version of GTA Online will be available for free exclusively to the PlayStation 5 players during the first three months. And PlayStation Plus members on PlayStation 4, make sure you claim your $1 million by visiting the PlayStation Store at the start of each month every month until the launch of GTA Online on PlayStation 5. With much more to be revealed, stay tuned to Rockstar Newswire for details on future updates, weekly bonus filled events, and more in the weeks and months ahead. I will leave a link to this Newswire article in the description down below. Let me know below in the comments what you guys think about this announcement. Peace. one sentence.